I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to Valhalla. Parker, just sit down. Just sit. Uh, this one. You're gonna at least finish a day. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Huh? Oh, this again. Um. I haven't been too offended by anything in our music selection so far, so let's just. drop everything in there. In order, basically. Back in action yet again. Good evening. I am a robot. Please insert girder. Good evening. Did you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, it's a helmet. Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable. I usually forget to have it on. There is no way that head fit in that helmet. I am sorry. You need, like... That was not an anime class helmet. Whatever. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist Psy P. Azaragi of the 70th Valkyrie Corp at your service. Uh, yeah, just Psy will do. Thank you. What can I get for you, Psy? Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. But not sweet isn't cool. Uh, no one would have assumed that. A cool drink would be nice. Okay. You, you, you're not good with your words, I get it. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. So no booze. So I heard that the the difficulty of making drinks, it's more like a puzzle to figure out what they want. Cold, sweet, not big drink. Small, sweet, and icy. Um, sweet. Piano woman. I think that's huge. Yeah, that's a big one. So let's try... Brand Teeny! Mmm. Sweet, classy, happy. It's not chilled, though. Um... Moonblast! On the rocks and blended. No relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon for one week every month. Huh. Wait, Hadron Cannon? What do you have that for? Alright, on the rocks, blended. Two, three, four, five, six, two, one. Blended, not mixed. Alright, here's your moon blast, madame. Ah, yes, it's just what I need. Oh, just what I needed! You don't give me any white knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. Said you're from Val Valkyrie Corps, right? You're the guys who deals with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking of Blitzkrieg? <laughs> Why would you Blitzkrieg riots? That... <laughs> that is not an appropriate... Well, I guess we're cyberpunk, so we love our excessive force. No, we're different people, I mean. Obviously we're different people. But we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. What? How so? To rescue, heal, and protect, we are the angels who soothe the suffering those suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope. How, how is this being a soldier? I'm pretty sure that's being an EMT. We match. We watch. We protect. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Sorry, it's sort of like our Pledge of Allegiance. We recite it every morning. Well, that's not creepy at all. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, protecting them from... stuff. Ah, stuff. Stuff will kill you, you know. Uh, a friend of mine died from stuff. Anything like these. Th these are all stuff. All of that sucks. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah. I know many doctors. But I'm not one of them. More of a paramedic. Is then that that's pretty close? But whatever. Treat people so they can arrive safely to doctor. Parker, why do you have a badass helmet then? It seems excessive. Also, kind of like a firefighter. Rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of. It's also really rewarding. Also, only one person like explicitly mentioned 
wanting me to continue on Valhalla and like nobody used the poll. I did put a poll, like YouTube has cards now that show up in the top right of the screen. And you can click there and like vote or you know, whatever. Um, I was hoping to get some more response, but uh, I figured I would do at least one more video and the views on the video were okay. So I figured I would, yeah, and it's sort of stepping out of my comfort zone. So I thought I, thought I would try it. It seems like a lot of people are streaming it, but uh, I, I'm not really in the mood to stream yet lately. I mean, I'm yet to meet someone that isn't glad to see me arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. I looked down and was blown away by how the prettiest city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this one time we were cleaning up the aftermath of the car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. The lights and scattered pieces of glass. It was almost dreamlike. Ah, yes. Car crashes. So romantic. <laughs> That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights. They're shocking, right? You're one of those, huh? Yeah, but never mind. Wait. <laughs> Did you even see her and you meant size? You've got, you've got one hell of a noggin on your shoulders there, kid. I mean, yeah, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrating sighs from people after everything's been said and done, but don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. Parker's just standing in front of me this whole time, and is just very offended that I'm talking but not petting him. He's just like, what is this? What is this, human? He's sniffing the mic. If you hear purring, that's him. Don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Oh, but not like the class from school. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. It's, it's, it's just a small, classy drink. My drinks usually come in a can. Don't worry, classy drink. Let's give her the Everclear. Nah. Nah, we're not gonna do that. Um, Parky, please, calm down. <laughs> brand. I, I need to make a brand teeny. Yes. It tastes like brands. Aw, oh, crap. That delicious taste of brands. I'm loving it. All aged and mixed. I like how we like... Oop. Alright, this is... No, wait, that was a different one that looked like, you know, the female reproductive system. This is only half of the female reproductive system. It's only the uterus, no ovaries. <laughs> Relevant conversation topics. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. <laughs> Brand teeny. Oh, and apparently there's like different ads in the back here. And I saw one for Burrito Galaxy 65. I, I hope we get to see that one. Was that was this on a, was this a Kickstarter? That may be why it has those things. I, I I don't know. I don't follow Kickstarters or early access stuff too closely. Same as bartender. What's your name? Hmm. You know my name, so I want to know yours. Oh sure, just call me Jill. Last name sandwich. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. Wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> Jillian. Julianne. Do not call me Julianne, please. Same. Hmm? Hmm. Sigh. Sorry about that. I guess I could have actually sighed. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. So, I'm, I'm awestruck by a human being that is not a complete garbage can being in my bar right now. Donovan was ugh. And then the other guy was like, ugh. A friend of mine tried to kill um, Ingram by just overdosing him on alcohol, but it doesn't work, which is a shame. It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. It's not being nice. It's almost confusing to see somebody being nice in this game. Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't feel like angering people. I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. Even the dog piss smell. It's oddly comforting. Mmm. That actually helps. You're the one, you're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. I wonder if somebody is like listening, only listening to me, not reading the dialogue and thinks some of the stupid shit I say is actually what they're saying. Uh, what do you like to talk about? Would you like to talk about it? <laughs> the smell of dog hair! 
Oh my god! She actually likes the dog piss. Oh my god. I was making a joke. <laughs> she likes the dog piss. Oh god. Ugh. My mom used to be a veterinarian. <laughs> she likes the dog piss. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. My mom used to be a veterinarian, so I used to go to her clinic after school. So this smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. The nostalgic scent of dog urine. <laughs> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? <laughs> well, I was never a good student. So studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend. What? Attacked my friend was coming after. Th when another white knight saved us? It's kind of a mess. Why would you. I mean. What? I don't remember what happened next, but I woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that. But ever since then, I felt this was my calling. To be one of the people that attacked yourself and then had to be saved by another one of them? A little confusing. Huh. It's interesting, though. One would think by being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. I think, at best, that's 50-50. And I would honestly say being attacked is a little bit more than being saved. So, uh... Uh... Sai doesn't seem best in the decision-making category, though. So I kind of got myself judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extreme extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too. I joined the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though. Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and stuff felt too tiresome. One reason I don't like doing these VNs things, I, I want to have like different voices for people, like at least a few major ones, but I haven't really felt up to like practicing and like getting all that figured out, so it's just mostly just me. What are you doing, Parker? You see a bug? He's looking at something. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Yeah, that's that seems like you. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad of a term. It's not one specific type. Rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Uh. Really? Yeah. They get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. Can I just, you can just hire some accountants, be like, yeah, we're gonna, f we, yeah, we didn't keep any records, so you guys are just gonna have to fix all of this. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But if you were assigned for a company is suspected of being weird, under the table deals. Interesting. It's also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. With guns, I hope. They're doing a nice job with the fad of anti-bullying campaigns past, and they lost their funding. At least some members still work in anti-bullying cases in unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Parker is tickling my mouse hand with his tail. Um, can I get anything else? I... Why did... Oh. What? No. I thought I'm... Hold on. I locked the keyboard. How did he do that? I guess I must have done that on accident. I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. Besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. A drink called a martini? Brand teeny. Pretty sure it's called martini. No, it's brand teeny. I I'm sorry, a brand teeny. I just got you a brand teeny though. You literally just drank a brand teeny. Whatever. She's not the sharpest tool in the shed, it seems. Uh, aged and mixed. There you go. Here, see? Brand teeny. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. I want to share the luscious... Fumes of dog urine. It's exquisite. It might be a bit difficult though. She's more into um classier places. Rude! Rude? 
Just because there's dog piss on every single surface does not mean this place is not classy. You know, some people have to import their dog piss. Our dog piss is all locally grown, organic, and gluten-free. Not that this place is nice, but don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... Oh! We're under attack again. What was that? Sounded like <laughs> so calm. Just, yeah, it sounded like an explosion. Whatever. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. <laughs> I'll go check out what the ever loving helmet explosion was. Jill's just like, whatever. Explosions. You know. Oh, oh hello. Oh, you're like a freaking. Artiste! Look at those glasses! Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That is not- that is- oh, Imagine being knocked out and that's the first thing you hear. Be creepy as hell. <laughs> she, Jill is- Jill is literally me. Wow. Valhalla? Am I dead? <laughs> Uh, does that mean Uncle Ingnus is rambling about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar? Aw. Uh, we're so wrecked. Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death of the afterlife works exactly, but you're breathing, right? Mm. I think that's how you say that. Mm. Alright. Where the hell am I? <laughs> A bar, obviously. This music is way too intense for this. How did I get here? Who brought me here? What are you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? I I'm pretty sure pickpocketing... I don't think you're supposed to knock out the pickpocket target. I think that, you know, defeats the purpose of the pickpocketing situation. This is like a slightly too slow track from uh, Unreal Tournament or Unreal. I really like this one. I mean, too slow for Unreal, not too slow in general. Um, actually, it reminds me a lot of... Aw, oh, crap. I don't remember the name of it. It's like... Um, oh crap. It's something Toxosis. It's, it's got Toxin in the name, I think. But whatever. I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Good music in this game, by the way. Otherwise, you'll just... You're the rapist, aren't you? Rapist, the whole lot of you. There's only two of us. And we're also not rapists. And please don't mind the dog piss smell. N no, no, none of that. None of those things. We're just a bar. Just a normal bar. No. No. I'm not reading any of your sentences. <laughs> Okay, calm, calm, <laughs> look at her face, calm, remain calm, do we have a drink for this? Interrupt me, well, this is going nowhere, so let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down or throw at her face. Think carefully, give her something that will calm her down. What? Crevice spike? Let's give you a good crevice spike. <laughs> None of these sound calming. Piano. Zen! You'd think something so balanced would actually taste nice. <laughs> He'd be dead wrong! Oh. The Zen star is four of each ingredient. Okay, now that doesn't sound calming anymore. Alright, what sounds calming? Definitely not the... None of the... Bloom light? so unnecessarily brown. One of these will make your teeth turn blue. Hope you brush them well. <laughs> 8 out of 10 smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. <laughs> Cobalt melon! <laughs> it's like champagne served in a cup that had a little bit of cola left. Bubbly, classy, burning. All of these drinks are horrible. It will knock the drunkenness out of you or knock you out cold. Sour, manly, sobering. It me. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety. 
more of them, and you'll feel sleepy. Okay. Fluffy Dream sounds pretty calming. Yeah, we already saw that one. <laughs> Frothy Water. Favorite beer is that. PG Rated Show's favorite beer or stat. What is an Earth stats? Oh, whatever. This one's kind of unbearable. <laughs> it's mostly for fans for the movies it's based on. Gut Punch does not sound calm. <laughs> no thermometer was harmed in the creation of this drink. No relation to the Hadron. Yeah, I already saw that. Too many people complain they would be a piano, but with the piano, man. Pile driver? Um. They used to actually sparkle, but too many complaints against skin problem made. Made them redesign the drink without sparkling. You just carbonate it. Sweet, light, and pretty, as girly as it gets. Sweet, girly, happy. That's like the one drink that doesn't sound absolutely awful. Tastes like old chocolate milk! with its good smell intact. Ah. Suplex. A small twist on the pile driver. Putting more emphasis on the tongue burning and less on the throat burning. Why is everything we serve horrible? My god. Um, what was that fluffy thing? Yes, yeah, so let's give her the fluffy thing. Uh, two, three. Don't want to give her booze. She needs to chill out. Aged. Mixed. Here you go. It's murder drink. Murder, murder, murder. <laughs> drink. You're in a bar. Bar of serves, serve drinks. A bar. So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it with? Rupees? TTX? Pumpkins? Pumpkins. Pump. Oh my god. Uh -huh. That pump made me die. Or er, that. Pun made me die inside. God, no, I wouldn't even think of it. Pumpkin spice is the greatest. Your stuttering makes you s suspicious, you know. If they ever add anything I like to drink, <laughs> your drink, they dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I have to pay any lawsuits myself. That's the best case scenario. I can get fired or lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. The thought of going all that through is just... Brr. Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Two flying cars crashed. This is why you don't have flying cars! Do you know how stupid people are with 2D cars? Can you imagine that with a whole other dimension of stupid added on top of it? Do not give people three ear flying cars. Please. Robot cars have to come first, and probably not flying ever anyway. Hole in the street? Don't know about the drivers or anything. What? You got a street, but you got flying cars. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper? What? Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What? Oh, they peed inside of it, I guess. I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. Why don't you just have those in the bar if you're gonna do that? It says negative. There you go. But, wh wait, why didn't you just watch me make the drink? You were, you were right here. Miss, I'm gonna pick your nose for this situation. You could be in a coots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Oops, I was picking your nose instead of advancing the thing. Good point, but first of all, it's not my name, it's my boss's. Second, you're pretty much part of a chain, like, sort of like spicy chicken of bars. I don't think spicy chicken is a, like, I don't think you could make that a brand. And finally, I'm not making, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. <laughs> a sign of peace. You are right, it is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink or go through that door, pretend this never happened. And that would be it. You're at peace and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? 
Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? She is an artiste. Let's throw her out. We don't like their types in here. What about the drink? You gonna let this fruit of your work? <laughs> she is! She's an artiste! I hate her. No, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter. Not sure you should drink it all so fast. It, it just doesn't have any booze anyway. So, how was it? It was fine, but not something I'd order normally. Rude. It was like one of two drinks we have that doesn't taste like dog piss mixed with soap. No problem. If I were you, I would have reacted probably the same way, except for the whole murder thing. I should apologize for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? Uh, you were unconscious. Yep. Safekeeping. That you could probably try using less creepy words, Jill. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I see. I'm not sure if like loud noises wake you up out of like a concussion. I don't think that's how that works. I've never been concussed, so whatever. Is <laughs> it better here? How did you fall unconscious? Are you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you, and the dog piss smell. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right about now. Yeah, you might be right. I'll have a piano man. You'll be fine. I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. I see a woman asking for piano man every day. What if they have a piano? Bottle drink. What? A fedora with a perfume and a blood. Every drink here is priced at five hundred dollars a day now. What? What is? What was this? Oh, I want. I want to serve her the Simpsons hat with perfume and a plum. But yeah, let's just do the piano man. Piano man. What is the difference between the man and the woman? Oh, just reversed in thingies. Three of these, five flangerines, three bonson, all on the rocks, mixed, oops, what? Two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, oh crap, I forgot the powder delta. Uh, on the rocks. Mixed. Piano Man. That is fancy! Look at that! I think we saw it before, but look how fancy it is. I like that one. This is the one. My dad used to drink these before. Oh, dramatic? Oh, no, just... I thought it was gonna get dramatic, but it was just the song. Pause between the songs. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist tried to kill him. Why would you still drink these? What did he do? Did your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him! Your family sucks, lady. I'm sorry. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looks like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance and he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I don't... I don't think Jazz does that to you. I see. The Piano Man is an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend, but it's that it just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors a said friend liked the most. It's just literally everything, so whatever. That's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink the long, hard day at work. Not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I could say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Oh, she's not an in she's an intern! And an artiste. I hate her. Get her out of my bar. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? She's a Huffington Post intern. Get her out. She doesn't have money. Get her out. I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew he smelled his nasty cologne. Now that's just the dog piss. That bastard leaves his reek everywhere he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, I have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse floor. <laughs> okay, you can stay. 
<laughs> she laughed too. Harsh words. Jill is me. Except with some bad wording problems. I guess I do that too sometimes though. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. No, don't do that. I'm gonna pick your nose for that. He's so forceful about things that he wants people to have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work surf for maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. Would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's- Ugh. Please stop making those noises. Why are you working here, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? Guess it's hard as being a cook somewhere. Keep going through the motions. I really wish this had an instant text option. I don't think it... No, still no options, basically. Let's leave scan lines on for a little bit here. It works pretty well. I don't usually leave scan lines on, but I, I guess... I guess we'll leave that on. Keep going through the motions while trying to think of something, make something of quality. All the while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought I was being a bartender. Thought about being a bartender, excuse me. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. I don't think that's what most bartenders do. Here we go again! Well, it depends where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. <laughs> My boss just happened wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. You know nothing about my boss. Stop being interested. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected. But she has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's a bit tense with the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but heh. Excuse you. Sorry, I got carried away. It's fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester in that way. Besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one though. I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle one. <laughs> All these brand teenies. Everyone wants a brand teeny. Brand te a bar a brand yes that. I can so many brand teenies. What's the blue fairy? Oh yes, yeah, the blue teeth one. Ah, the fresh taste of brands. Aid. Oh, no ice. Here's your brand, ma'am. Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey, Jill, was this job like a lifelong <laughs> Who has a lifelong dream to be a bartender? Not really, it just kind of happened. No offense to any bartenders in the audience, but I mean, it's not really something I can imagine being a lifelong dream. Maybe just sort of a casual interest. One thing led to another and bam, bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff need to be paid for first. Ah, adult stuff. Doesn't it suck? You never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Yeah, those are pretty dumb. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. Empty dialogue box. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find them in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. The nice, nice bar with the scent of dog piss. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess I'm not going to forget about anytime soon. Gillian is the best character so far, honestly. Best dog piss cleaner. How the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? I mean, it, it's not hard. 
Oh, a client. This ad hasn't changed. Oh well. I guess it only changes on load. I guess it's less annoying that way, but I was kind of hoping to see the Burrito Galaxy 65 one. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. Take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Um, who is he? A ghost. No one should worry about. Oh. I heard that! G Gilly and his best girl. Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the, the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job. Some find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes you on an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm going to take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you. Come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? You you just missed the person you saved. Look at your stupid ahoge. Look at it. I demand you look at it. Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. <laughs> Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. Look at how serious you are. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Not really, no. Don't like you calling me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Ugh. Here's an extra for helping that girl calm down. Drinks total. Mistake zero. Commission 30%. Flawless service bonus. I guess we did pretty dang good. Oh, we only get a fraction. Oh, I was gonna say we only have we have we have 800 bucks to pay, and we got like several times that, but we only get to take home half of what we got. Your membership in the <laughs> Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least 800. So yeah, that'll be very easy. Jill is in lost in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from being too distracted. You can now boss danger. Ah, oh, we can go to 4chan. You can, ah. Bossing me. <laughs> Snapchat bullcrap. Alright. What is it? Oh, is this 4chan? Yeah, dangerous opinion. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. Mickey concert. Concert, how are you preparing for the best day of your release? I'm going with. Ugh. <laughs> Normies, get out! That's so cute and on. Anyway, I'm going with a very special friend of mine. You're the girl with the other day with a crush on your best friend? Yes. That's the cutest thing, but. This is not how 4chan works. Like, the, the mockery is almost correct here, but, um. You're forgetting the part where anyone. You know, even mentioning the word girl gets, you know, just com or the implication of being an actual human female gets, you know, basically this. This would be the response. And, uh, this is just no longer 4chan at this point. They're being reasonable human beings. This is like, this is, this is Twitter at this point. This is not 4chan. You have failed. Um, anyway, you'll understand once you're with her, Mickey. Yeah, it's Hatsune Miku crap. Oh, wait, there's three things. Mickey Concert 2. In the last thread, Anon wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know! And how is she? I bet she's one of those cute, clueless girls who can't touch your signals. You could say that. But she can be incredibly sharp sometimes. I'm gonna marry Mickey, blah blah blah. I'm a guy. Now who's the attention? What? This doesn't even make sense. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. This one might be interesting. What it says on the tin, so what's the news on them? Drawing a blank, RN. Wait, why would you even post that? Whatever. I haven't heard of Alice in a while now. Do you think they're planning something? There's this constant ruin about a terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, please. I have enough as it is. Lol, we're going to be attacked, and it'll be funny to see those white knights fu white knight fu white knights fucks. Do nothing but drink. How do you know if you'll be hacked by Alice? That's my first time reading about them. Lurk more. It, you you misspelled more. Um, she normally leaves a funny message in ASCII and drawing and says something like, Happy not birthday! 
Sounds lame as fuck. Why is Alice even a celebrity? The hell Alice was the one who leaked all the internal White Knight memo. She literally started the riots with the leaks. At least try with your mates. Alright. Oh yeah, this is just a music player. No one cares. Life back up! Alright. Add app. Can I actually add? No. I guess let's read the paper. Local woman, local hero. This morning, a suicide attempt was forwarded by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at Artemis Wheel Mall, where people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noticed by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. A mysterious rescuer. Just then, when the would-be suicide victim leaped off, a local woman was able to catch them in mid-air and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. Okay. 70% of our readers- I love that- I love that clickbait here. I've noticed this being a thing, too, where the clickbait is just a totally normal headline, except it's cut off before the actual, like, description. 70% of our readers considered shrimp ramen to be disgusting, yes, agreed. But this is not really a surprise. But a lot of these people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. This is from a survey we were conducting here at the Augmented Eye last month. We asked our readers to tell us the most hated dishes. With a total of 6,000 votes, it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good, because it sucks. It sucks so much. I barf a little every time I smell it. How could anyone like it? It's ridiculous. I can't even read finish this article. I'm sorry, everyone. I have to puke. Blurg. I hope it's out of sale. Okay, then. I think Alice Rabbit may be a dog. Don't trust this dog! <laughs> if, if I saw that dog, I would trust the hell out of this dog. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near human speeds. So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog uses their brilliance for programming? Well, maybe... Hmm. So... It seems this might be, it might legit being Alice Rabbit. But why not Alice Dog? Those purple numbers. Wait, wait, wait. Those purple numbers. I didn't, she reacts! Those purple numbers. This probably says something. I'm, I'm way too lazy to type all of that out. Ugh. Someone, someone in the comments can say what that was. I'm sure somebody else has already discoded that. Oh, oh, she, she comments on everything. Let me read her comments then. Hi, kitty. I love that the finger is animated when you click. The shrimp is arti so artificial it doesn't trigger any allergies. Mid-air, that sounds a bit too fantastical. See, she's me. It me. Does anyone know childhood romances that succeed in real life? For Did my cat just backsass me? Glad I neutered you. Happy not birthday, cheeky bastard. The page looks silly. It's amusing in its own way. Nope, this whole sketch is too silly. We're canceling it. Wait, shop? We can go to a shop? Cute clay houses? Feel the thrill of being scammed by souvenirs without leaving Glitch City? Why am I so excited by the shop? Um, Maniki Neko. They say these bring luck, but its paw is broken, so I wouldn't trust him. I could tear one of these wall- I could tear one off any wall in the vicinity, but hell knows what germs they have. Uh. Cutesy game poster. Poster for some cutesy game about a pink-haired witch flying on a broom. Okay, we're getting that one. Um, their games no collectors wants, but they're still, <laughs> they're still nice for displaying. A Japanese souvenir that has seen better days. Still has a vintage charm to it. <laughs> They're just selling broken crap from the cult classic video game Yik. His beard grows in real time. I'm sure that's a reference to something. That makes me think, that name makes me think, like, Tempest 2000, but I don't think that's it. Night of the ID Snatchers, the beloved police mockumentary. Mega Christmas? Celebrate the bastardized commercial version of an already bastardized celebration. Not as sentient, but just as cute. Replica toy Turing. Oh my gosh, it's Turing! And he's incredibly expensive. We're not gonna get that. PC90! Oh! It's a, it's the PC88. Um, or whatever it's called. 
It's vintage gaming. Experience all the cumbersome load times as, as they were meant to be. Joker Cyclone. Despite its noisy name, it's just a fan. Fans are good, though. Really good. Hollow plants in memory of a real potted plant. Rest in peace. Paper Lantern. Thanks to the chemical coating prevents bugs from eating it, we would advise against using it. Hmm. Beer on discount. The owners tried to quit drinking, so he's selling them dirt cheap. I don't I don't I don't think you can sell beer like that. Whatever. Meet the staff. This one's a scrap of paper with a download code for Meet the Staff scribbled. I guess that's the uh credits. Kira, Miki Banner. A cent a sashimono or a war banner with Kira Miki's face on it. Fills you with fantasticism, Desu. Solder massager. Those days when you build up too much tension. Mulan tea. Coated tea based liqueur. Tastes like green tea and kicks like whiskey. Okay, we're getting we're getting the witch poster. Yes. What? Yes. We bought the cutesy game poster. Hollow plant. Oh wait, I need to buy a hollow plant, I guess. <clears throat> that slut t-shirt. Yes, we got the cutesy poster! Why do you have a picture of your boss? That is supremely creepy. Alright, let's buy the stupid hollow plant. Wait, is it the 17th? Wait, how much is the hollow plant again? Alright, we can just barely wait now. She has the hollow plant. What day is it? Okay, we have a few more days to make that money, so... That is a pretty plant, but the poster is still way better. Aren't you gonna have curry yesterday? A ghost took my money. So, I guess let's save. Once more. I'll think about continuing. Uh, let me know if you want me to continue for sure. Um, uh, I'm enjoying it, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how good of a, you know, recordy game it is. I'm gonna turn off those scan lines. It, it fits with the aesthetic, I guess, but uh, I, I tend to prefer my pixel art clean. But yeah, that is a bit more of Valhalla. I figured it'd be like, it's like half hour segments, so it's not really too long. The last video was just crazy long because of the, uh, the intro crap. <laughs>